Hello, Mr. Barton here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create a quiz on diagnostic questions. So first thing you do, get yourself logged in and then navigate over here to the questions section. Now, when, we, when, when this loads up, you're gonna see thousands and thousands and thousands of questions. Now it's actually on the questions tab where we create our quiz. And there's a little kind of hint to that there with create quiz. So the first thing you've gotta to do to make your quiz is find some questions that you want. So maybe I'm gonna do a revision style quiz for my year eight. So let me think, what topics have we done? Well, we've done some ratio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna search for some ratio questions. So if I just put ratio in there, it'll give me all the subtopics and it'll also give me the parent category parent category will be fine for me there because I want a bit of a revision quiz um, using a few different aspects of ratio. Now by default these questions will be sorted by the newest first which may be absolutely fine but what I tend to want to do is, is make sure I get some really good tried and tested questions. So I like searching by most answered. This for me comes up with some really nice questions. Ah, okay nice here are some of the ones I've got in mind. Now, whenever I see questions I like, all I need to do is click here, add to quiz, and it puts a little tick by them, and you'll see that number there goes up. It was zero before, now it's one. So I'll have that question, or a nice little best buy question, I'll have that. Yeah, simplify ratio question. Um, don't worry too much about the order, you can change that later. Um, yeah, that'll do for me for ratio. So three quick ratio questions, and then I, I probably want one other topic in there. Now, I'll be honest with you, this bit's slightly annoying because you've, you've got to go backwards if you want to use the search because it just kind of searches within the fit, within the kind of level that you've, you've zoomed into. So just go back to maths. And then if you want to search, and I want to go for some, I love a linear equation. So let's go for some linear equation questions. Notice by default, it's still searching by most answered, which is fine. Ah, nice, look at some of these questions. Yeah, I'll have a bit of that. Sometimes you have to just wait till the page loads before the tick appears. And let's have that one. Nice five question, uh, quick fire quiz for my kids. So all I need to do there is click create quiz. And again, sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to load up, depending on your internet connection. And this will take you to the edit quiz page. Now on this page here is where you can change the order. So you may think actually, let's open up with a can of coat question. So you just click that up arrow there and it moves it up and so on. And then you've just got to create the quiz yourself. So I'm going to select all. So to see what I've done there, just click that little tick and it makes sure all my questions are selected. I'm going to give the quiz a name. So I'm going to call this year eight revision quiz. And I'm simply going to click on that plus button. And it tells me there a new quiz named year eight revision quiz has been created. The selected questions have been added to this new quiz. And that is you done and dusted. Now we're going to look at assigning that quiz to your classes in a later video, but that's your first quiz built.